So within only three years of being diagnosed with this disease, almost half of patients will have died. This disease is pulmonary hypertension. Hypertension meaning high blood pressure and pulmonary meaning in the lungs. Now this disease causes the blood vessels in the lungs to become narrower or in some cases completely blocked. This means that the heart has to work even harder in order to push the blood into these blood vessels. Now the heart is smart, the, can, the heart can adapt to these, um, this extra work that it has to do. However, eventually these adaptations become detrimental to heart function and the heart can no longer efficiently pump blood. <clears throat> now this is the main cause of death in these patients, but despite this, there are currently no treatments available that specifically target these changes in the heart. Now one of the major risk factors for pulmonary hypertension is an individual sex. For every one male that's diagnosed with this disease, four females are diagnosed. That's 80% of the patient population are female. And this is thought to be associated with the way that the male heart adapts to the, the disease. <clears throat> and this also suggests that sex hormones must be involved in the development and the progression of this disease. Now this is what I'm interested in from my PhD. I'm interested in why and how this disease differs between men and women and more specifically how this disease affects the heart in men and women. So how do I do this? I compare male and female heart tissue um, under normal and disease conditions. Now my research has shown that there are key differences between the male and female heart even under normal conditions. So it's no wonder that in this diseased state when the hearts are put under stress that they then respond differently. I also look at the cells that make up the heart from males and females and see how these respond to the female sex hormone oestrogen. So we look at how they grow, multiply or move. I also look at how these male and female heart cells respond to different drug treatments. That then poses a greater overall research wide question about whether all drug treatments should be tailored to males and females. Now we hope this research will develop an understanding of this disease in the hope that we can identify new drug targets and eventually new treatments so that in the future a pulmonary hypertension diagnosis is no longer a death sentence.